This is the first video in a two-part series for Blender Python beginners where we'll be going over how to assign materials to faces of a mesh. Hey, I'm Viktor Stepanov. I'll be guiding you through this beginner Blender Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be generating random colors, creating materials and assigning those colors to the materials, and then assigning the materials to each face of an icosphere. So let's get started. To start off, let's navigate to the scripting workspace uh, right here and hit the new button to create a new script that we'll be editing. Let's clear the scene by hitting A, X, and then delete on the keyboard. And we're ready to start. To speed things up, I'm gonna copy some comments that we're gonna be filling out through this video so you don't have to watch me type this all. All right, here are the comments that we'll be filling out. Don't worry, uh, it looks a lot, but as we go through the video, you'll understand everything that we're doing and why. At the very beginning of our script, like at the top, we would need to give Python some extra functionality, right? So Python needs uh, its functionality like enabled, like we need to, like you know how you enable uh, add-on, right, in Blender so to give uh, Blender extra functionality. The same thing you can say about Python. We need to enable some of the quote-unquote add-ons for Python to control Blender's functionality, work uh, with uh, meshes in Blender, and uh, also generate random numbers. Uh, next, uh, we would need to add uh, Icosphere into the scene, right? We'll be working with that. Uh, to work with uh, the mesh in Blender, you need to go into edit mode and we'll need to toggle in and out of edit mode at the start of when we're going to start editing and uh, assigning those uh, random color uh, materials to the faces and at the very end to uh, exit out of that edit mode so uh, we don't uh, we're not in edit mode when we finish the script. Uh, next we will need to uh, deselect each uh, face of uh, the mesh so uh, we'll, when we're going to be assigning a particular uh, material to a particular face of the mesh, we only need that one single uh, face to be selected. So we need to deselect everything at the start. Uh, next, this part doesn't really map to our uh, representation of uh, like how we would do things uh, by hand. This is more of an abstract concept. In Python uh, or in Blender Python, to work with meshes, we need to create a special object that will allow us to iterate through the verge, through the faces, uh, through the edges, and do some selection and manipulation operations. In today's video, we'll be only working with uh, faces, so uh, you'll see that in just a bit. Uh, next, we will uh, need to iterate through each face, right? So we'll be assigning a, a random colored material to each face, and uh, we'll be generating uh, these uh, colors on the fly in each iteration of uh, this uh, a loop that we're going to create. Uh, we'll create the material itself, we'll uh, assign the material to our object, and uh, we will select uh, the uh, material as the active material, right? Uh, you can have multiple materials assigned to an object. And uh, when you're assigning uh, materials to faces, you got to like select them. So we're going to be doing just that with our Python code. And um, next, we're going to be uh, selecting uh, that face that we want to assign uh, the material to. And uh, we will uh, be applying that uh, selected material that we uh, set as active uh, right here. All right, if uh, something, uh, some parts of this don't really make sense to you, uh, I'm sure it will by the end of the video. So make sure to stick around. In the first part of this video, we're going to be working in the interactive Python console right uh, below the 3D viewport. We're going to be doing this because when you execute a script, it just kind of blasts through and you don't even get to blink, right? It's so fast. 
But in the interactive Python console, we have time to uh, execute the command, maybe discuss it, right, and see how it works and maybe play around with some of the parameters, right? So that's why we're gonna be starting with the interactive Python console and then moving all the code that we did there into our script after understanding what it really does. All right, uh, we're gonna be uh, skipping for now the very first of like adding, uh, giving Python uh, more functionality. We'll be, at, we'll be giving Python that functionality as we need it so you can clearly see why we need uh, this particular uh, statement, right? So I could just import it right now. We're gonna be using a thing called an import statement, but I want you to understand the connection of why uh, we did that because like, oh, we need this to call this function and it's located in this particular package. All right, so let me uh, just move this uh, like so, so we have a bit more space. Uh, and so the next thing that uh, we're, we wanna add into the scene is the icosphere. And to do that, I'm gonna hover over the 3D viewport and do that by hand by hitting uh, Shift A and then selecting Mesh and then uh, selecting uh, the icosphere right here. Uh, so we got an icosphere right in the mid middle of the scene and uh, right below the uh, interactive Python console, we have the info panel, which uh, adds the commands that you can use in your Python script. It doesn't add it for every single thing, but for most things, you'll find the command uh, that will be executed after you do it by hand. Here's the command that we're looking for. Uh, that's ad adding a primitive icosphere. I'm just gonna copy uh, this uh, right in our interactive Python console. Uh, and let's uh, delete everything from the scene, AX and then delete, and then I'm just gonna execute this command in the interactive Python console. And as you can see, it added the um, icosphere right into our scene. I actually want to increase the uh, subdivisions, and uh, to do that, I can either do this by hand and modify the subdivisions uh, in the menu uh, right here uh, down below. So if I hit that, uh, adding again, and if I uh, increase the subdivisions, I will uh, get a command in the info panel that actually is using that parameter. So uh, I'll increase it by one, and you can see that we got the subdivisions uh, parameter uh, right here. So you can find uh, the uh, correct command that you want that way by doing it by hand. Also, there's a way uh, you could just select uh, this uh, command uh, and then uh, press a tab without uh, entering any other parameters and it's going to give you a documentation string, a doc string uh, that will show you what kind of parameters uh, this uh, function has and actually see you can see the uh, default subdivisions are uh, set to two, uh, to two and I want to set that to three so let's uh, do just uh, that so I'm going to set the subdivisions to three uh, and uh, the radius uh, to one and that should work. I'm going to delete everything, run uh, this new command, and now we have our icosphere with the subdivisions we want. Okay, now we want to uh, get a variable that will help us uh, control uh, this icosphere uh, through Python. And to do that, we will need to uh, get the currently active objects from the context. So a context and act active and then uh, object, object. Here we go. So the currently active object is the icosphere. And uh, I'm just gonna create a um, ico object uh, variable, right? So this could be any name. I'll, I just selected it as ICO uh, object, right? It could be uh, anything that you choose. All right, so now we have the uh, ICO object, right? It's uh, referencing the same object uh, that the currently active object uh, in the scene. Uh, and if there's another active object, like if we add another, like cube into the scene, where it will still be uh, referencing our original icosphere. So next we need to 
uh, turn on uh, the edit mode. And to do that by hand, uh, we usually use uh, the tab key when hovering over the 3D viewport, right? We go into edit mode and uh, that's uh, pretty straightforward. To get the command to um, get, the, get into edit mode in Python, you guessed it, we're gonna look into the info panel and just copy that uh, code. So I'm just gonna select this and paste it. And notice that it is a uh, toggle, right? So it's gonna toggle between going in and out of our um, edit mode. So I'm gonna hit enter and we're gonna get out of edit mode. I'm gonna hit the up arrow. Uh, so in the interactive Python console, you can repeat commands that you have written before uh, in this session. Uh, and I'm just gonna hit enter, uh, not enter, uh, the up arrow to repeat. So I can go even further, right? Uh, see, I'm just hitting up arrow one more time, right? Uh, you can also navigate down. So I'll, let me just go back to the toggle um, command. So I'm gonna hit that uh, again, hit enter, and we're gonna uh, enter into edit mode. So next we need to uh, deselect all the faces. So now we're in edit mode and now we need to deselect all uh, the faces. So to do that, uh, we have a command under meshes, actually under ops, meshes, selects all, and see uh, it's giving me a doc string uh, again. And this, uh, if you uh, read down below, it deselects all verts, edges, and faces. So uh, it does say select all, but since it like toggles each time I run it, uh, it's gonna uh, result in what we want. So I'm just gonna uh, close the um, parenthesis and uh, hit enter. So as you can see, it deselected everything. I'm gonna hit the up arrow and select everything again, but we don't need that. We want everything uh, deselected. So as you can see, it's toggling uh, in selecting everything and deselecting everything. Next, we will need to uh, get the special object to manipulate uh, the uh, data of the mesh. And uh, to do that in Blender, there's a special module called uh, bMesh. So uh, we actually need to import that um, module before we can actually use it. So it's import bMesh. And uh, the bMesh uh, module has a special uh, command that will allow us to generate this uh, object from our icosphere's uh, data. So it's uh, from edit mesh, and we're going to be using uh, the icos ob ico objects uh, data. All right, so that will create our B mesh object for our icosphere. And I am uh, going to create a uh, new uh, variable. So, and call it ico uh, bmesh. And so now uh, we have this uh, ico bmesh uh, object, right? So uh, this variable is referencing uh, that special uh, bmesh object. This bmesh object uh, for the icosphere uh, has special uh, pro uh, special properties like uh, faces. Um, oops. Uh, so it's ico, not object, but f uh, but the uh, faces. Here we go. So it has a special uh, property faces, and through that we'll be accessing uh, each face of this this icosphere. So uh, I can use the square brackets and access the first face. Uh, I know it says zero, but the index in Python starts uh, from zero. So all the lists uh, that you'll encounter will always be uh, starting from zero. Next, let's take a look at the iteration through each face of the mesh. And we'll be using uh, this uh, faces uh, property. And uh, to do that, we'll do something uh, like this. So we'll create a variable face that will be used um, in the body of our for loop. And then and the ico um, bmesh and then uh, faces, right? We're gonna be iterating through each face of uh, this icosphere. 
since there are over 300 faces uh, and I, I wanna like print out the index of each face, I wanna cut uh, this list of faces down to uh, 10. And to do that, I'll use uh, the slicing uh, syntax. So uh, the square brackets, colon, and then 10. And then I'm gonna uh, just print out um, the face index. So each uh, face has an index and we're just gonna print that out. Uh, you go ahead and try it uh, without this uh, slicing. It'll just print out every single uh, face. I don't wanna just spam uh, the console just uh, for the sake of the video. So let's print that out. And you can see you could uh, print out the first uh, 10 faces in our icos here. Next, uh, I'll skip over the random color generation for now. We'll get back to that in a couple of minutes. And uh, we're just gonna go straight into uh, the creating the material and assigning it to our icosphere. To do that, we'll use the BPY uh, data materials new uh, function to create a new material. And uh, to create a new material, we must provide a name. So if I just do this, it's gonna say, hey, uh, you need to uh, provide the name parameter because it's required. Uh, let's, so let's just do that. Just do test. Actually, I, I wanna create a, a variable, so I'm just gonna test, do test one. Create a mat, so we're gonna ignore the very first attempt of creating this material. Uh, so that will give us uh, mat the variable mat is gonna allow us to reference to our material. Before we do anything further, let's uh, open the materials property uh, panel right here, uh, right at the bottom. So we can see uh, what materials are assigned to our icosphere. There is nothing there yet. And let's, up let's update uh, that uh, through our interactive Python console. So I'm gonna use the Ico object, and we're gonna use uh, the data um, materials, and then we're gonna append, so it's a list, we're gonna be appending to that list, and we're gonna use the mat variable to uh, do just that. So let's run that. And you can see that this added this test one uh, material right here, and to show you how um, I'm assigning, uh, I'll be assigning the material to each face. I wanna create a new material, so I wanna have two materials. So I'll just run this again. Also, I'll set the diffuse color of this material to red. So it's the R, so R is gonna be 1.0, then it's um, G uh, is gonna be zero, uh, B is also gonna be uh, zero, and then, oops, and then uh, I'll just press enter and alpha is gonna be one, right? So it's R, G, B, A, right? Now that is set, I'm just gonna rerun the command of appending a material to our ICO object. I'm just gonna hit enter. And you can see that we have this uh, test two material uh, signed that's the color red. All right, so now uh, we need to uh, set the active material. And this is what we're gonna be doing right now in Interactive Python console. So the ICO object has a property called active uh, material index. Uh, let's see here, and oops, index, and uh, we're gonna be setting that to one. So remember how everything, uh, all the lists in Python start with uh, the index zero. So this is uh, gonna be uh, setting to the second material right here. So watch how this changes after I set hit enter, right? It selects the second material. So. If I do that again, but set it to zero, it's gonna select the first one. We don't want that, we want the second one. So that's how we're gonna be switching between materials as we iterate through the loop 
create new materials and uh, select that new material that we just created. Okay, next we will be selecting a face and assigning the active material to that face. And we're gonna be doing that by using our ICO BMesh variable. And we're gonna go again into the faces and I'm gonna use the first uh, face, right? And we're going to use the select property of this face and I'm going to set it to uh, true. Now, nothing is selected currently uh, in our icosphere, right? No nothing is selected here. I'll hit enter and that will select the face. Unfortunately, uh, let me press control space to get a, a full screen view of this. Unfortunately, it doesn't really update uh the uh selection in the 3d viewport and um the only way i found that it, it will update if i uh, exit uh, edit mode and it will then uh, update the selection so watch as i press tab uh then tab again right and now we're uh, seeing the, this face uh selected right here i'm actually going to go into face select right here so you can see that it's right here and only after I've exited and entered edit mode. That is not great. And if you know a better solution how to update this to the Interactive Python console, please let me know in the comments. So uh, maybe you know how to do this uh, because I don't. All right, so let's go back. And now let's continue in our Interactive Python console. And I'm gonna show you a problem that we're gonna hit right away so it's the b mesh uh let me try to get uh the faces and uh it's gonna give me an error uh the problem uh with this is the uh b mesh uh see it's uh dead right so the problem is as soon as we exit edit mode the b mesh object gets destroyed so we need to recreate uh, it so keep that in mind when working uh, with this b mesh object so let's uh, i'm just gonna hit the up arrow until we get to the place where we are creating the original b mesh object i'm just gonna hit enter and now we can work with our B mesh object. We've selected, uh, just going back, we've selected the face and now we need to assign the currently active material to this face. And to do that, we're going to be using an operation that's going to be on the object material slot and then assign. So we're going to be assigning uh, the active material to this Face. So let's just do that. And uh, now you can see that we have assigned a material uh, that we created uh, to this uh, particular face. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, try that again with another face. Let's see here. So first we need to, let's actually deselect, deselect this face. I'm just gonna scroll way to the bottom. There we go. So this is it. So false, so we don't want this selected, right? It's not updating in the viewport, unfortunately, but I will just believe that. And then I'm gonna select the second face. So after I apply the mater material slot to this face, it's gonna update the viewport. So you can update it in that way, in a sense. So let's uh, try to do that. And you can see that it, uh, assign that uh, material right to this uh, second face. All right, now we can start assembling our script with uh, this uh, information that we just uh, found out, right? So let's start doing just that. Uh, at the very top, we need to import uh, BPY. So this is gonna be extending all the uh, Python to allow uh, Python to press uh, Blender's buttons and run uh, Blender's commands. Uh, notice that all these commands that I'm running here start with BPY and that is exactly why we're importing this uh, right here. You might ask why are we not doing this in uh, like the interactive Python console and the thing is that the interactive Python console actually imports this 
for us. So if you uh, look at the description of the interactive Python console, it should say that uh, it's importing uh, BPY uh, by uh, default. So let's uh, go and start adding our uh, icosphere. So uh, also let's uh, import uh, the B mesh, right? So for working with uh, the B mesh uh, data, right? Uh, let's go and scroll all the way up uh, where we were uh, working with our with our uh, icosphere. And unfortunately, uh, I think history of the interactive Python console. Uh, ended so let's actually just do uh, that one more time so I'm just going to add an icosphere set uh, the subdivisions to three I'm just going to select uh, this and just add it right here uh, again we don't need anything right here so I also was setting I remember uh, the radius and actually the radius is uh, by default one so we don't really uh, need that next uh, we need the ico object right and uh, that's going to be our the bpy context and then active object uh, right uh, next we're going to be uh, toggling our edit mode right so i'm going to add a toggle here and a toggle at the end so without the part at the end we're after running our script we're going to be still in edit mode you might want this you can uh comment this out or just leave it out altogether next uh we need to deselect all our faces so now we're in edit mode and like right here remember we had this uh, select all it's a toggle right when you run it it's gonna toggle the selection or deselection of all the faces vert and edges so i'm just gonna uh, add this right here. Uh, next, we will uh, be creating our remember B mesh object. So we're creating uh, the B mesh, the ICO B mesh variable, and assigning the result of uh, what we did here using the data of the ICO object. And after that, we uh, will loop over. So doing this right here. Uh, through each face, right? So we don't need this anymore uh, since we want to apply this to all the faces of the icosphere. I'm going to select this and I am going to hit tab to automatically indent it. So you need uh, everything indented under the for loop. This tells Python what is exactly going to be repeated multiple times as we iterate through uh, this loop. I'm going to leave this uh, generation of the random color for now. Uh, I'm going to create uh, material. Uh, this is the code, right? For that, I'm going to set the name to uh, face and then I'm, I'm adding this uh, app for like formatting so we can uh, add use variables right in this uh, text. So I want to use the uh, uh, face index uh, next so remember how we uh, assigned uh, the diffuse uh, color right here so I'm gonna use that so for now uh, let's let's create a variable color and we're gonna uh, just use uh, the color that we had here oops all right, so this is gonna be randomly generated in just a second. I just wanna uh, finish uh, the loop so we can see kind of the full picture and then uh, finish this uh, generation of the random color at the very end. So next uh, we want to uh, append uh, the material that we just created to our list of materials uh, in the icosphere. And then uh, we wanna select the uh, active material uh, index, right? So since we're iterating over our faces, I'm just gonna use uh, the face index as the thing that we're selecting. So each, uh, as we create the uh, material and assign it to it, 
uh, it's going to be a matching. So I'm asserting that um, the base index is going to be the same thing as the uh, material uh, index. So uh, for now, that's true. Maybe if it's not in the future version of uh, Blender, we could uh, fix that. But for now, I'll leave it as is. Okay, next uh, we want to select uh, the face. So we're selecting the face. And actually, you know what? Since we did this way uh, in an interactive Python console, but you can say that this face variable is just this getting changed uh, on each iteration. So it's going to be 0, 1, 2, and so on. So I want to select the face, and then I want to deselect it uh, after we're uh, done assigning uh, the active material. Uh, so let's scroll right here and uh, actually assign the material that is currently active. With this code written, let's make sure that it works. I'm going to delete everything from the scene. And I'm going to run the script. And for now, since uh, we're just generating, uh, we're not generating random, not, uh, random colors, we're just applying uh, the red uh, color to each face. So let's fix that right now. So it looks like our script works, right? Um, we have a ton of materials uh we have a ton of materials right you can see here right so let's fix the random color generation okay to generate the random colors we'll need to generate a value from zero to one and to do that let's go back into the interactive python console so scroll i'll scroll all the way down and we'll be using uh, a module called uh, random so i need to import random and the random module has a function called random and it uh, returns a number from uh, 0 to 1 so let's see how that works see it's returning a number i'm just going to hit the up arrow a couple more times and hit enter so you can see that we're generating random numbers here so we're going to do just that so let's create a variable for each color so we're going to have a red that's going to be random right so next is going to be green and the same for blue so we're going to set alpha to point one right uh, and so i'm just going to move this comment right here for us so we'll know uh, when we look at the script in a week or two what this really does so let's go ran uh, red going to be here green right just pasting that in all right so now we're generating a random color uh we're generating random components to so the red uh green and blue creating a, a color like a tuple right uh these parentheses mean that this is a tuple and we're assigning this color to the diffuse color of the material we created for a particular face on this iteration. So let's clear the scene and run our script. And there's an error because, uh, remember, I imported uh, random here, but I didn't import random here. I'm just guessing what the error is, but I think that's the error. So, uh, and remember, and watch that um this error happened somewhere in the middle of the script because we're still in edit mode right we didn't hit this so we did go into edit mode right here we failed the script so the script stopped executing and we never exited edit mode that's why we're in edit mode still so i'm just going to hit uh tab again to uh, exit out of edit mode delete everything all right i think this should work okay uh, let's uh, hit control uh, space to get a, a better look. And you can see that uh, we did uh, apply random uh, materials to uh, each face of our mesh. All right. And if you're learning and enjoying this video, make sure to hit the like button. I will greatly appreciate it. 
You can find a link in the description to this final code. So if you run into any issues, you could check that out. At this point, you might say, but Victor, we're like done here. Like it, it does what we wanted to. But in reality, if we look at uh, the materials here, we will notice that some of these materials are actually similar, right? Uh, so you can just scroll and see that these uh, materials just repeat, right? And it's not really great to have uh, over 300 materials assigned to a single object, right? Uh, don't show this to a rendering engineer. Uh, and basically, we'll be fixing this in our next video to make sure that we have uh, only a select uh, palette, maybe, of a random colors to choose from, right? So we'll be reusing materials and maybe organizing our code uh, just a bit better so make sure to subscribe to not miss that video and just subscribe for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching